Hey everyone, in this video we're touring a full-size school bus that was converted into an awesome tiny house on wheels. This DIY project cost $15,000 Canadian, including the cost of the bus, and it was built using mostly reclaimed and recycled materials. It has a large kitchen and living room, a bathroom, a wood stove, a large bedroom at the back, and really everything needed to make it a comfortable living space. We're gonna go meet up with Lena and Aaron who converted the bus and they're gonna give us a full tour. We built a bus because we wanted to have a home on wheels that we can just park anywhere and have a new surrounding every morning. When we got the bus, uh, all the seats were already moved out, which is great because we heard that the hardest part of any conversion, just removing all these seats. So when we got it, it was just pretty gross, pretty dirty. We drove it back to Kelowna where we did the conversion. And so we started with like insulation, did a little framework, put the insulation in, and then we got this really great leftover wooden floor from my parents' place. Those were the first steps. And then we kind of just built it along the way. We didn't really have a huge plan that we were to follow since it was the first time for us doing a project like this so we just kind of totally made it up along the way all right so this is our kitchen um, we wanted it to be in the front of the bust to have the living room like in the middle um, and make that the warmest place so the kitchen is up here which is also good because then if we cook we just open the door and it kind of vents through a little bit because we don't have any other ventilation so basically it's pretty simple it's just this old bamboo countertop that we found at restore Aaron built this the whole framework around it and then um, he spaced it out perfectly so we could fit our whole electrical system underneath here so we just have a goal zero that we power almost everything off so we have two solar panels on the roof. They have 160 watts, and then we have another uh, foldable panel that has 200. We also, when we go on longer drives, we connect the, um, the batteries to the engine. So that way it charges up, which works really well. It doesn't work on short stretches of driving, but for the long road trips that we did, that was pretty good. For cooking, we went pretty simple. We just have like a cooking two burner stove. So this thing lives in the first door over here. This is also, Aaron made this perfectly spaced so it fits right in. And then we just have pots and pans and this is our garbage uh, and like composting. Um, and then just like random things that can't live anywhere else. Then we have all our um, food storage up here. These are all baskets that we found at Value Village. They're all screwed in so they don't fall off. This is our sink, uh, Funny Surrey. We wanted to buy a real sink. And at that point we were already kind of low on our budget. So we found this planter at a garden center and it works great. And it is like, it's definitely a look. We'll see how long this lasts. I hope it does last for a little while longer, but um, at some point we might have to replace this. Um, and then for water, it's all down here. We kept it really simple. We didn't want to do any plumbing or any tanks in the back or, anything like that. We just wanted to keep it simple so it's easy to fix. Um, this is just fresh water. We keep three of these jugs in the back. Um, so we do have about 80 liters at all times. We tried to keep them filled up. Um, and this is just our gray water. Um, and then we just keep our like uh, cleaning supplies down here. Olive oil because it doesn't go anywhere else. So for all our building materials, we um, only bought the kind of the beams that we use for the construction. Um, most of the other what we used was all reclaimed. So it was either leftover stuff from my parents' place when they built their house. So we had the flooring. Um, this is just some siding of the house. This is leftover uh, deck wood. So this is what they built their deck with, um, really sturdy. And then all the small pieces, like these ones are all old pallets. So we bought a truckload from a pallet factory and they sell off their scraps. So we got that for really cheap. And then our handles like this, this is just driftwood that we found. And it looks, looks pretty nice, we think. I made these two doors. Aaron usually does all the, he did all the construction stuff. So he kind of designed the whole thing. I kind of did the interior design. 
This is our fridge. It's just a little box. Um, it's not a cooler, it's an actual fridge, so it runs off our battery. Um, it's not super spacious, but for us, it's really enough. Um, in the beginning, we thought we would have problems with this space, but it's pretty good. And then it just lives in this little housing that's also our kitchen bench. This is our main kitchen storage space. Um, it's just an old cabinet that we bought from Restore as well. It was really ugly before, so I did my best to make it pretty and I think it turned out pretty nice. So this is just where we keep all our cutlery and tools. And the rest is just some storage. So this is like dry food storage. And then we keep, like this is all our plates and all that stuff. So this is our dining table area. Um, we do most of our dinners, work, um, games, like this is usually where we hang out. This table is pretty special because uh, this is something I always wanted to do. And when Aaron went out and he just chopped down those two birches that were already dead, we used them for other things as well, but then we had these two big pieces left. So I used them as the little legs for the table and I think it looks pretty special. It's all screwed in so it can't move, it's really sturdy. This is our second chair. This is actually also um, storage. We keep our, all our tools. I have my embroidery stuff. Aaron has his leather stuff in there. Um, so this is also the warmest spot in the house because when we turn on the stove, this is just very warm and toasty. So it's really nice for the cold days. This is our couch area. Um, what's really nice is that it also extends into a narrow double bed. And then underneath, this is where we, this, we use this kind of as our pantry. Um, so there's more food storage under here, which is really good. It gives us all the space that we need. It's almost a little bit too much. And then we have all these really nice pillows. Um, behind this one, we have some more storage. And then this is just where we keep extra blankets. Um, some books and like magazines is all in there and some little things, candles. We have a little solar string light that we keep in here that lives right there and charges during the day. Turns on automatically at night, which is kind of nice. Um, yeah, and then we just brought all these little things from Germany, actually from our old place. Just hung them all here, so it's kind of a nice decoration. Well, we have this um, wood stove. It's a Canadian brand. It's called Cubic Mini Wood Stoves. We have the Grizzly. It's the biggest one of the Cubic stoves um, because we have a little bit more room than a normal RE. It works really well and heats the space. You have to buy or find or chop um, wood um, in this size. So yeah, it's a little bit tricky, but when you have, I don't know, an X or a saw, then it's not a problem. We decided to insulate the bus with styrofoam because it's the most efficient uh, way to insulate and it's light, so it's a weight saver. We insulate the, the, the walls and the floor as well. The roof was already insulated with fiberglass. So these are our lights. They are movable because they are magnetic and you can put them wherever you want, whenever you want. Both of them are powered with our solar panels, runs on 12 volt. So this is our um, washroom. It's um, with a, the nice mirror in the front. And yeah, it's really, really, small but yeah it has everything in it we need so it, we have a little porta potty for just emergency situations and all our towels and um, shampoos and just random toiletries to make the bathroom a little bit bigger we can open the, the bathroom door and the closet door and then we have a little bit of private space to change clothes or just a little bit private space. So yeah, that's really cool. This is our bedroom and also our 
trunk or kind of trunk because here's a little bit of storage. There's a big metal box and um, tools and our other portable solar panel. And yeah, because the size of the bed is so big and we have to use all the space. It's a little bit bigger than king size. Another thing, my mom um, make us these wonderful pillows because she's a um, hand uh, weaver. She also made the, the wool curtain at the front door. And yeah, it's pretty nice. So thank you, Mama. So this is our shelving with uh, scarves and jumpers and socks and yeah, everything you need. Other door. It's a big closet with all our stuff. This is the front and here's the passenger seat with a seat belt because it's the law, I think, to have one. So I drilled this little seat belt thing through the wall to make it safe. And yeah, here you can sit this so it's pretty comfy, I think. This is an international bus. It's from 1997. It's a 7.6 liter engine with only 190 horsepower, but it's okay. It's enough. It's a little bit slow, but it's so much fun to drive this kind of big bus. I love it. So we bought the bus for 6,900 Canadian dollars and then spent about the same amount on the build just for the interior. So there were definitely some more expenses on the whole mechanical side where we had stuff to do. So it was a little bit more than we expected, but to crunch it down, bus and build was like a 15,000 Canadian dollar project all in all. It's definitely such a great feeling to wake up in a space that you've built yourself. Yeah, it's really special when you know that you've touched every single piece of wood in here and you know all the little nooks and crannies and you know how things work. Hope you enjoyed checking out this school bus conversion. If you want to follow Lena on Instagram, you can check her out at Roadside Tales. Also, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to Exploring Alternatives. We post a new video every week. Please share this video if you liked it and thanks for watching.